Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen and Middle School for Life, produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Experimental TV. Well, uh, no observation vlog again tonight. No transitions outside uh, because there's been a lot of work to get done and they have been finishing on time to go out. So it is currently 2 hours and 17 minutes into, I believe it's going to be the 17th day of December. Yeah, 17th day of December, uh, 2021. Oh. I'm happy to sort of see, uh, in terms of the YouTube stroll, that uh, Allie is back in the vlogs once again, that she's uh, making a more regular appearance. It's hard to make transitions into new things, particularly when when you're up against sort of uh, things that cause you to fail. Uh, and this is where you start bringing in your per perseverance mode, where, uh, okay, you failed, and you, go, you dust yourself off and try again. And this is what her progress, her, her process was. Uh, to eventually become a Disney princess, and that's going to happen on February 9th. And then we'll see what happens as life starts to hit her, uh, uh, and she's on uh, she's on her own, That uh, what happens with her vlogging, what happens with the channel, and so on and so forth. But uh, it's, it's, it's sort of sad. It, it's happy for her, but sad to see her go if she decides to leave YouTube. I mean, this is what's happening more and more. And this is what happened before. A lot of people will age out of YouTube. There's, there, there's an age limit to YouTube for a large chunk of the channels because uh, the younger set are the ones who are doing are doing actually a lot of the, the vlogging because they've really got nowhere to go. Once they actually ha hit their 20s and start living life, things get too busy, they get too hectic, and so the camera drops off and they have other things to do, and so you don't see them. They age out of YouTube. Uh, I haven't aged out of YouTube because my life is in such a situation that uh, uh, YouTube is kind of like a par for the course. It's where I do a large chunk of my presentation. This is how I, I evolve in here. And this is what's been sort of keeping me inside, not doing observations. I've had work, sort of uh, work to do on here in ter terms of expanding the views and making sure more people see my videos. So I've gotten onto Rumble. I'm working on Patreon. Uh, I'm working on two other different uh, platforms to sort of expand my exposure. Uh, ironically enough, YouTube isn't counting the views, even though uh, I'm getting other views from other places that uh, sort of direct people to YouTube. Uh, the views aren't being counted. And so uh, it's hard to sort of gauge where you're going to be just from the YouTube stats. You have to go outside the YouTube stats to really sort of get an understanding of, of, of where you're being seen, how you're being seen, and uh, what the next step forward would be in terms of expanding your audience. So, uh, But that's neither here nor there. Uh, the vlogs are now coming out, the, as you should see them right now already, that uh, when I'm doing work, when I'm vlogging outside, um, I've got a new microphone set up, and the sound quality is better. So... Uh, I think I'm going to leave this here for now because uh, I am tired. I'm going to go back to bed. I should be back here around uh, six, or, oh, 6 or 7 in the morning to do a pit stop. And so I'll see you then. I'm going to vlog the pit stop. <laughs> and vlog the transitions, and this is one of the transitions, the pit stop. It is 6 hours and 44 minutes into the 17th day of uh, December 2021. Yeah, think about that for a bit. Uh, I'm on my way back to bed. I, had, I got up around 5, so it's been an hour and a half pit stop. And had something to eat. I had a nice uh, shake that I have. It's a chocolate uh, strawberry shake. Uh, so I enjoyed that and had uh, something to eat, some, some light fuel to go back to bed and, and continue on with my um, uh, with my uh, 
otherworldly explorations, and that's the only way to sort of describe it. Uh, my life in terms of how I'm um, uh, handling my meditation has changed significantly. I'm doing a lot more meditation than I did before. As I said before, the goal is to achieve a continuous state of meditation, uh, a state of centeredness that, uh, uh, that, well, it goes all, it's all day long, uh, every day, uh, seven days a week. In other words, you're in a continuous state of meditation, uh, no matter what you're doing, and this is where I'm working towards now. Uh, I've got this sort of seven days going. I got it most of the time while I'm up, while I'm awake. Uh, there is, uh, meditation in progress. Uh, so, and it doesn't matter what I'm doing, meditation is always there. So, uh, I have improved on that. It has adjusted my dreams. Uh, as my attitude and, and my mood changes, so does, uh, the contents of my dreams. Uh, it, but they also bring in new puzzles, new things to explore. Which also pr produce a, a, a bit of a, um, a situation where you're not necessarily too sure where things are going. Because just as, as you, you finish one level, you move up to the next level uh, uh, of success. Uh, uh, but that success in terms of moving up the level, you go from the top of the last level that you were good at, uh, that you were great at, uh, into the new level, but now at the new level, you're down at the bottom, and you have to climb yourself, climb all the way up to the next level, so, uh, <laughs> there is a bit of repetition, there's a bit of deja vu as you, uh, go through level, from level to level, uh, uh and as you work on new projects, new understandings, new, almost everything, uh, you go through these, not only this type of transition point, but you go through the larger transition points where uh, things kind of shift in life to a certain degree, but there's always a degree of uh, mundane. Uh, then this is the the, the, the uh, YouTube stroll, which I finished earlier, and I'm on to my cartoons now. I just finished uh, two episodes of Kim Possible. I think the next pit stop I'll take, uh, I'll probably be doing... Uh, Two episodes of uh, Kids, uh, codenamed Kids Next Door, and from there move over to uh, Juniper Lee. Uh, we'll see what how we'll see how uh, the rest of the day kind of goes. Uh, I do want to rest a little bit rest a little bit more because I do have a busy Saturday. I have to go in and do a bit more of uh, the contract work. I was supposed to go on Wednesday, but the ride that I had kind of fell through, so I have to do all the work I was planning to do on Wednesday on Saturday. So. Uh, We'll leave this here for now and uh, head on out to uh, the uh, next stage in uh, my work day in terms of uh, researching in the other realm. Well, we started a day once again after taking a, bit, a little extra time in the other realm, in the other area, at the other research desk where I can't log because it's not uh, physically possible to do so. Uh, interesting, uh, events occurred. Oh, oh. And, uh, let's see, it's, uh, well, 8 o'clock in the evening, uh, 22 hours and 23 minutes into the 17th day of December, uh, 2021. Uh, been sleeping in uh, last few days. Then again, we are on Chris. We are on the Christmas break, so uh, as from December first to February first, this is why Vlogmas for me and as long is going to be extended because uh, I have a longer Christmas Christmas than uh, usual. So anyone who loves Christmas, well, this is your. Opportunity to do, opportunity to do so, uh, and so I am a Christmas person. So yay for me! And although I don't always decorate or do anything really different than than usual, because uh, my understanding of Christmas is that every time, well, with the meditation that I'm doing on a daily basis, it's always Christmas. 
the meditation I do is basically a, a liturgy, and in every liturgy, um, you have uh, the Chris, Christmas is part of it. So uh, you celebrate Christmas, and well, what most people know it's Easter. Oh, every single day, and the purpose is to be peaceful, to be calm, to center your mind, to focus your mind to a certain degree. Uh, and to be like that almost on a continuous basis, that you're basing as much as much as possibly trying to remove hate and anger from your midst, and including yourself, well, in terms of being within yourself as well, uh, as much as possible. So, you for that, I'm on, at the Tannerites now, we're beginning the YouTube stroll all over again, and I typically start at the Tannerites, uh, let's see, Yowie Vlogs, and it looks like they're off to, uh, Hawaii in the vlogs, I know from Instagram, which is more current, uh, that they are actually back from, they're actually back from Hawaii, and, uh, this, the title today is Traveling 3,000 Miles with 10 People in 24 hours, so, should be interesting, uh, I do have my, uh, snacks and sort of a breakfast, this includes goldfish, goldfish is, uh, one of my, uh, my, uh, my go-to things for the morning, I have two cereal bars, uh, later on, I'm gonna have, uh, uh, a type of, uh, uh, basically it's a red Thai, a red Thai curry, uh, uh, rice. It's gonna, it's, but it's gonna be done in a soup form. So, uh, that's what I'll have, uh, probably for lunch. Uh, I'm still working on my kitchen in order to fix it, to fix it up. So I can do a lot more, in, uh, oh. Pan-Asian, that's Indian, uh, Syrian, Greek, uh, Thai, uh, most of the Asian uh, street food that, that, that uh, you'll see, uh, I'll be able to do in my kitchen. Uh, I still I haven't finished the work on it yet, so it's going to be a little while longer. But then, this is the time, December to January is the time to do all your upgrades, to do all your cleaning, uh, everything that needs to be done on a, that tip should be done on a daily basis, but piles up because of the workload. Uh, everything gets done now, so. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, off onto the YouTube stroll. Akatima University, go beyond standard knowledge. While we are back once again for a pit stop, it is five five hours and thirty minutes into the day of December eighteenth, uh, two thousand twenty-one, <clears throat> and this is going to be more of a comment on. Uh, our family nest uh, video uh, vlog uh, Candy's comment about her preference in terms of vlogging, and a lot of people want in terms of in terms of vlogging don't just simply want um, to hear about the day. And as and then there are people I've seen vlogs like this where people simply ramble off what they do. It's sort of a a, a item list of events of the day, and uh, you know of course that's not as uh, Interesting, <clears throat> and not necessarily seeing the day as it unfolds, oh. but rather, again, it's the ones I tend to enjoy are the ones where there's a conversation. Now, of course, this is this is true with uh, Candy and Carly. When Candy and Carly, when she vlogs, there is a conversation between whoever she's with. So it's not simply them and rambling off a particular point. It is sin it is a conversation and the conversation is the kind of what draws you to from my perspective anyways is you know, that's what I'm saying what I'm saying because it is my perspective. So it doesn't really need to be said that it's my perspective. Uh the conversation for me is my entertainment. This is 
this is what I like even in vlogs. Uh, not in the vlogs, just the anime. Anime, the, there is a genre, or rather a subgenre, uh, with an anime called Slice of Life, and there is real no uh, point to the uh, anime in terms of the story, overall story, or theme. What it is instead, it, it, it is more... Uh, you're following a person's life. It's, it's, it's actually, it's, it's an animated vlog, basically. If you know how the vlogs work here, and you see a person having a, a discussion between them, uh, and this, this is where the conversation comes in. And you act, almost, in many ways, you act like a fly on the wall. You're sort of there with them, and your observation of them in terms of how they interact is, that's your entertainment. And this is sort of the same situation here, is that this is uh, uh, done in such a manner that, that you are here with me, we are having this conversation, and we're to, we're, we're, we're t talking about different ideas, and uh, now I'm thirsty and parched, more than I expected to be, so. And I'm always using these metal tumblers. They keep the whatever is inside, in terms of your liquid, uh, very cold, so. If you like cool things in terms of uh, being refreshing, then that's the way to go. And I have several of them. The other one that's right now, it's in the wash, and it's sort of being cleaned out, is the, the other one that I have my shakes in. And today I had a nice shake. It's the chocolate strawberry shake. I had it with a... Uh, uh, a sort of a ramen version of rice. It's It's... You make the ramen, you make the ramen type of soup, uh, and then you cook the rice in the soup. You don't cook the rice in water, just, you cook it in the soup. Uh, and what happens is that the rice then, uh, the, cause rice really doesn't have a flavor. Rice has the flavor of whatever you cook in it. And because in many cases the Asians use a lot of, uh, uh and this is true about the entire Asian sphere, the pan Asian sphere, uh, It depends on the spice mixture that you put into the soup, and that's basically the water, that really makes the difference in terms of what your flavoring is going to be. And I have my particular, because every, every person who cooks, you know, this is village style, has their own style. <clears throat> it is not formulaic, it's very in interpersonal, and this is what, because if you want, want, want to say it, Want to say this? It's, this is what makes it artisanal. Artisanal means it's not by a standard form. This is the art of the particular person, the baker, the chef, whoever was there, uh, uh, whatever the area is, or you know, pastry, whatever. This is their particular signature. This is who they are. This is the way they cook. Uh, and you're tasting their wares. You're tasting their art. And it'll be slightly different from somebody else's. There's, in other words. You never really have uh, two of the exact same thing. Even from the from, from the same artist, you will never have two of the same thing. There's always slight differences depending on how the uh, tastes actually evolve, how what spices are put in, what what, what is in, what is left out. You know, in terms of the various different choices, because you can't put everything in there. So you you pick and choose, and then you change up the flavors every now and again. But you have a variety of things within. Let's say a bread or or what have you, you know, just pizza, right? It could be just simply bread, but depending on how, what you put on the pizza, or actually you can do it inside the pizza, uh, changes the flavor. So, anyway, is it, this is where we are. We're, we, we're doing a conversation, and my conversation tends to be uh, more along the lines of the research that's going on, and it's a I can't take you into the dream realm, so you don't know what's going on there. In terms of, I can't, I can't show you it. Uh, I can describe it, and again, these things are, uh, in some cases, <laughs> indescribable because the, the the dreams I've been having lately. There is a situation, a scenario, and this is what live action, live action uh, role play is, LARP. Is, this, is based on scenarios. And within the scenarios, you're given a, a, a variety of different choices as the situation unfolds. Uh, and as the situation unfolds, and you're given this different, you're given different choices, 
as you make the choices, the scenario begins to change. In other words, you have multiple dreams within a dream, but the dream, how the dream unfolds, really depends on what your choices are. And so what happens is that if you have three or four or more choices in the particular dream, you'll have three or four different, you know, uh, structures of the dream that are not all the same. They kind of morph, morph all together. It's like you're you're in one scene and all of a sudden, bang, you're in another scene. You know, it's like it's like you're you're walking through walls. You're uh, you're flying. You're uh, appearing places and disappearing from places. Uh, all in a flash. All in a controlled in in some form of sequence. Not necessarily a controlled sequence because it's not necessarily controlled because it seems to be pretty much interactive, and anything that's interactive is not not controlled at all. So, it just again, what your preference is in terms of what your entertainment is, and what you're looking for, and what you're interested in in terms of vlogs or any other form of entertainment, if that's what your thing is. is uh, also, people are like information; they want to find out things, and want to find out uh, well, who the person is who's putting the stuff out. How they come to their uh, their particular points of view uh, that they're presenting, and this, these are the notes. These are my rough draft notes. They're not uh, in any particular order. Uh, I have the vlogs, uh, the observation vlog, and the gnosis vlog. Those are verbal essays. Those are more specific, but they're not again the rough draft because uh, the notes are not entirely finished. You have to take bits and pieces of the notes every now and again do a rough draft essay just to sort of play with the ideas and see how you can pull ideas out of the notes that you do have. So, uh, this becomes uh, one of the things. This is, you know, everyone has their own particular views. Everyone has their own particular uh, styles. And this is what you should get on YouTube. YouTube is, it seems to be gives you a lot more variety. But what happens is, once again, YouTube is shifting. There's a shift in the environment. And it's either you're going to be trending and shift with the, with the trends, or you're going to find a way to exist within the shift that's going on on YouTube. And my choice is to, to uh, figure out a way to uh, exist with the shift. I think uh, Candy is doing the same thing. She's, she's trying, she's finding her particular niche in this as her situation evolves. I mean, she, she <coughs> not just Carly, but, but she and Carly are in a shifting position. It's a change in in the actual environment, even though they're going back to the old format of Candy, uh, Candy and Carly. You know, that's the old format's Candy and Carly. That's all. That was the beginning of our family nest, and everyone else kind of eventually came into this, came into it. Uh, but it was initially Candy and Candy and Carly. Now it's gone back to Candy and Carly because everyone else is more or less gone, except for Ken, you know, the husband, and he comes in every every now and again. <coughs> Anyways, that's it for the transition. I do have to go on to other things, and I have a contract call uh, around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so I don't know if I'll vlog then, but we'll uh, sort of end up seeing what's, ha what's happening from there on out. Uh, Alright, so I'll see you in the next transition. Produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network, Experimental TV. We are Cyborg Alpha. Infinite Queen and Middle School for Life.